Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to give you a little help on text on shape and text on path in Photoshop Elements. As you can see here, I have some text on this shape here and then underneath I have some text on a custom path right there. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and delete these layers and start over. Go ahead and take those to the trash. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to go over here to the Type Text tool and we need to set our center justification. Now the reason I use the center justification it just makes it easier when I'm positioning my text. The next thing we need to do is we need to go down here. If you see a rectangular box right down here, I'm going to go ahead and select custom shape with mine and then in this drop down box right here you can see that I have one of the custom shapes. Now if you don't see the shape that you want you can click this double headed arrow to the right and you can do all element shapes or you can pick a specific shape that you want. Now I'm leaving mine on all element shapes and I'm going to go ahead and select that shape right here. And then I'm going to draw this shape onto my image. And as you can see it picked the foreground color when creating that particular shape. Now the next thing I need to do is go over here into the text tool and I'm going to select the text on shape tool right there. But as you can see when I hover over my shape nothing happens and that's because I don't have my shape layer selected right there and as soon as I do that you can see that there is an outline around my shape and then when I hover near the shape as you can see that I get the little eye beam now if I click on here it's going to center justify my text and it's going to place the text on both sides of that insertion point so I'm gonna go ahead and click here and then I'm gonna start typing some text so I'm gonna type the word text on shape. Now I may not like that so I'm going to go ahead and click the green checkbox right there then I'm going to double click this to highlight it and then I can change my size so I'm going to go ahead and change that to 60 point right there. Now the question is wow this went to the inside right there and I want this on the outside so how am I going to fix that? Well you come back over here you click on the custom shape tool and this time you have to go over here where it says the shape selection tool. Now it doesn't really make it that easy because it has different wording to it but let's go ahead and click it anyway. Then when we get close to this you can see that there are two black arrows right there and we can choose which side of the shape that we want this on right there. We can also move this to the left and to the right. A lot of people have a hard time trying to figure out how to position your text. Well that's exactly how we position our text right there by clicking on this shape selection tool. So that's pretty much it demystified. You put the shape here, you type your text on there and then the trick to it is come over here under the shape selection tool and with that you can come over here and you can change where your text is located. The next thing I'm going to show you is the text on custom path tool which is right here it's also underneath the horizontal type tool right there and what I'm going to do is in the layers palette I'm going to create a new layer by going to the dog ear icon right there create my new layer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a loopy shape right there and then once I'm happy with that I'm going to go ahead and, and tick the green checkbox right there now once I get really close to this line you can see a my eye beam comes back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then I'm going to put text on path. Wow, what happened there? Once again, for some reason it went over here and then chopped my text off. So how am I going to fix that? Well, if you remember, we're going to go down here under our shape selection tool right there and we're going to come over here and I'm going to drag that little circle on over so that I can see more text and then as you can see we can choose which side of that we want to put it on. Now of course this text is a little bit too big so I'm going to go ahead and double click that and I'm going to change the size of this text down to about 36 point and then now you can see once I'm happy clicking the green tick box right there you can see now you can see all my text right there and all I did was go over here and click the shape selection tool and then I drug that on over and once again you can choose which side of the path that you want on here. Now the one thing that I do want to show you that's kind of interesting if we go back over here and you click on this if you notice in the option bar there's a pencil and that's to actually draw your 
path right there. But what if you want to change the path a little bit? Well, you can click this one right here, which is your refine path. And you can take individual pieces of your path like this, and you can move them. Of course, that does kind of a weird thing. So if I wanted to get rid of that particular point, if I held down the Alt or Option key, as you can see, there's a little minus sign next to my pen right there. And I can go ahead and delete little pieces of this path right here. I can actually make this a straight line. If I keep on clicking on all these and getting rid of all these points in between, as you can see, I'm making a straight line here because I didn't do a very good job making the text on path in the first place. So now I'm getting rid of all these because I'm not very good with the free hand. And there we go. Now let's say I wanted to make this a nice loop right there. If I grab this and drug this down, as you can see, it's a nice arc right here. Now if I wanted to change where this text was, do you remember how we did that? We went over here into the shape selection tool. I can come over here and I can put the text on the bottom. I can put it on the top. And of course, I can also move it along the path wherever I want to. So hopefully that helped you text on path and text on shape. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and please pass my link on to your friends. Cheers.